Hello all. Today we will talk about the literature searching. The literature searching is very important uh, for all aspects of research. We are looking for resources electronically available. There are no need to go to a library to find uh, an information. However, it is not always easy to, to retrieve the exactly information we are looking for. And searching the literature can be a reasonably uh, challenging task. Surely, when you want uh, any information in any topic, the first resource is uh, Google. Google is very helpful when you use specific terms. So when we look for uh, some particular res uh, research uh, tool, here I am sure you are very familiar with Google Scholar. Here is the Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a specialized Google search page that have been developed for academic literature and this searching across all different types of academic literature. Then a tool have been developed particularly for medical science is PubMed. PubMed is a bibliographical database run by the NCBI and covering a range of biomedical literature including Medline. You also have another search page called uh, PubMed Clinical Queries which is a specialized PubMed for searching for clinical data. Another scientific literature resource is Scopus. This is the largest uh, abstract and citation database for uh, peer reviewed literature across all scientific domains. Then uh, the Science Direct, uh, uh, which is linked to Scopus and Elsevier, searching across number of journals from the Scopus and uh, Elsevier scientific domain. Particularly, we will talk about PubMed, and PubMed actually make uh, uh, use of a library of resources called Medline. Here is uh, Medline. So Medline is the U.S. National Library of Medicine. Here is the NLM. And it uh, is the world's largest medical library. And NLM has been indexing biomedical literature since uh, 1897 to help uh, provide e easy access to literature. The printed index uh, to article is called Index uh, Medicus and that uh, was uh, converted into the medical database which uh, now known as Medline. They have been allowed uh, free access to Medline through the PubMed NCBI of NCBI and in addition, in addition to Medline, PubMed contains citation from uh, biomedical journals Medline is composed of two major components uh, here, the component of Medline. We have uh, PubMed which is freely available uh, interface to the NLM uh, searching engine which allow you to search Medline using PubMed. Then there are a private database and they basically use Medline uh, and they develop their own interface to allow you to search uh, Medline. Then why we use PubMed or Medline? Firstly, it is very comprehensive with current up, uh, up to date information. Secondly, all the literature come from credible, uh, credible source. So all the journal from the uh, good credible uh, resource. Thirdly, they are uh, controlled uh, vocabulary for indexing and searching. And then we uh, said, uh, as we said previously, uh, that uh, the journal and article have been indexed and then allows you to search using particular uh, query. Now we will go to the PubMed page and show you how to use the queries for searching a particular topics, topics of interest. There are a number of steps when you want to search for a particular paper. Or particular topic the first step is clearly uh, knowing what uh, information you are looking for the next step is breaking down your search uh, question into keywords then identify the main source that uh, you're going to search for uh, quality data and then decide if it is uh, best to combine your keywords or search for them separately we're gonna use Fox B2 Uh, Fox B2 as an example here. I am interested in the genetic variation in the Fox B2 gene and its impact of speech development. 
So uh, you would also like to find the original case uh, study that suggests uh, that FOXP2 is responsible for speech development in human. Here, the keyword is genetic uh, variation, which is a uh, phrase, and FOXP2, which is gene, and its impact in a speech development again, it was, uh, which is an important uh, phrase. So, uh, this is the home page of PubMed. Uh, I'll type FOXP2 and searching with, not, with no additional information, and this is the result I'll get back. As you can see, there is a result uh, of uh, 637. Uh, here is uh, the advance, the advance uh, click or relink, which will take you to the advanced searching page. Here is the first hit, uh, which is uh, talk about the driven network and development disorder and neurogeneration. And here is the time in which this hit uh, published. You can narrow it, uh, or you can use uh, a lot of uh, older one. 